Welcome back to Steve Rob Reviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing this. This is my cell phone. This is my new cell phone holder that I'm going to put in my Silverado. And this thing is slick. I've had this for quite a long time now. And I'm going to take a look at this and show you over on the bench there all the different neat features. And I've had this, like I said, for quite a bit of time. I've used it a lot. And on the bench, I also got my uh, GPS unit. And you know, when you're looking at a lot of vehicles today, where do you mount your GPS? So on my F-150, I retrofitted this to fit my Silverado. And uh, I'm going to show you that too. But let's get to this first and how unique this is. I paid like $20 for this off of Amazon. Uh, you can just search for it anywhere. And if you take a look there, what is the uh, name? You can see the name right there, and it's just U Green. So if you Google that, well, you'll find it. And uh, I think it's pretty slick for $20. And uh, there's some features on this that I did not realize until I you know, took it out of the box, and you have to put it together. The only thing you have to do is you have to just snap the head on here, and it took two hands to actually snap it on. It's one of the, the strongest uh, units that I've seen where you snap it on but uh, we're going to take a look at the features and uh, I would say this is one of my top buys that I've got like I said I've used it for quite a long time it hasn't broke it's not busted it's not cheesy and uh, I like stuff not cheesy so let's take a look okay so let's just take a look at this unit quickly and the first thing is you have these two jaws on either side and they will go in and out with the press of a button and you just ratchet them into the position you need and that's it like I don't actually move this at all I leave it in the same position all the time and this is the only piece you have to snap in and I'll tell you that's on there real good so the best part about this is the average cup holder is about three inches and this goes to about three and a half and as you can see here you crank this out and this grabs a hold of your the side of your cup holder there's three legs and you bring it back in to release it if you want to take it off you know from the uh, from the cup holder and this little spot right in here you can move in any position you like and the best thing I liked about this is if I loosen this all the way I can bring it down to it completely closes this gap all together but what I do is I feed my USB cable through there first and I bring this down just to touch the cable so that I can tighten it up and then on the far side when the cable is sticking out it's not going to drop back in anywhere and it's going to plug in right to my phone and there's a spot in the bottom here for it to plug right in and I thought that's pretty slick right there so there's different types of units and of course this one here you, you can put in any direction you like you know back and forth you know anywhere you want and a lot of them had like just a cable just a wire like almost like a, a lamp wire you know where you can be flexible to go anywhere and I'm thinking okay so how would I mount my USB cable coming in here that's got to plug into my cell phone now the reason why I plug it in is so I got the uh, Android uh, Auto or if you have the uh, Apple CarPlay on your vehicle and the ideal thing for me was the cord coming through the front. So let's go and mount this in the vehicle and uh, but first what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I did to my GPS unit and uh, how it fits in the Silver Auto really slick now doesn't move around and doesn't bounce so let's get to that next. So this is just your regular GPS kind of a unit and all I did was I mounted it on this this hunk of plastic I had and if you take a look in the back the only thing unique that I did was I got my hot glue gun and I put hot glue all the way around the back so that this will stay rigid in one space one spot all the time will not flop around going over a bump it used to drop down and everything and all I did you see on the back side here I just built it up now all this here it's not wood I just spray painted this brown but this is just that uh, PVC plastic trim that you get and uh, that's what it looks like underneath I added two pieces of foam strip and when that sits in the vehicle like this the only thing I have to do now 
is turn it to the direction I want. And that's it. It's, you know, and it mounts solid. I'll show you what it looks like in the vehicle. And on the back side here, this is all I've done. A piece of angle iron. I mounted it solid with a rivet here through the back because this had like a suction cup on it before. It kept on falling off. So I just mounted it and I've got a, uh, a carriage bolt that goes through there with a double nut. So I can just move this in any direction I want and the screen no longer flops up and down. So let's go out to the vehicle and I'll show you how these look and how well they suit the vehicle and their purpose is just to be stationary and work. And I tell you this here and this here little cell phone holder for $20, I'm telling you is probably one of the best items I've ever bought, especially when they've got so much going in, you know, to having this fit in your cup holder so nice. So let's go out and I'll show you what it looks like in the vehicle. Okay, so there it is in the vehicle right there. And you could see how the cable just comes through here. So nice in the bottom. And this piece here will not go through there. And I just weaved it underneath the uh, mat. Comes out to here. And here's the, uh, the GPS cable that comes along. And there it is right there. Like, I mean, I think that's pretty slick right there. That's a good spot for it. And I mean, it's not loose or anything. That's in there pretty solid. And I can turn the screen left or right. And I don't have to worry anymore about this bouncing up and down or tilting or doing anything. So I think that's a win-win right there. And you know, I've had this now for, like I say, quite a long time. And you know, it's in there really solid. It's not going anywhere. So, you know, so easy just to unplug and I just slide the phone right out and that's it. So I mean, there you go right there, you green. Well, what do you think? I've had that for over a year. It hasn't destructed. It's been in, you know, like I mean, it just sits there every day and it does nothing. It just sits there. And uh, as long as it doesn't fall apart, well, I'm happy. And for $20, well, I'll tell you what, can't go wrong for 20 bucks to me. I couldn't even rig up something for $20 to fit in there and it's just in the right spot for me and you know a lot of vehicles there's nowhere to put your cell phone I mean you can stick it in your coffee cup holder if you like but besides that you try and put a cable on the bottom of it now it's sitting on the cable because your cell phone has to sit upright it doesn't work in any other direction right so, I mean if you turn your cell phone upside down it doesn't flip upside down now it's so only one thing I didn't show is yes, you can move it, you know, from vertical to horizontal and it stays in the horizontal position as well, except you see the cable coming out the side instead of the bottom, right? But I really never use it in that mode because whatever I have on my, my cell phone, whatever's there shows up on my, my eight inch display screen on the vehicle instrument panel. So I'm not really using the cell phone at all. I'm just using it to display everything I want on the uh, instrument panel itself in the infotainment center. So for me, I think it was just a great item to buy. So I thought I'd just share it with you today and also share a little bit of a tip on your, if you've got one of them GPS's that is constantly, like just constantly flopping down all the time, because you know that kind of a joint that they have in there that just never stays in one spot? Well, hot glue gun does great. And it's not like a real heavy duty permanent type of thing. You can take all that hot glue off if you wanted to after anyways. But uh, yeah, I think that's another uh, no brainer for me because it's a little bit frustrating going down a bunch of logging roads and your GPS is flopping up and down, going sideways all the time. Not got no time for that, right? Okay, so thanks for joining me here today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't seen this channel before, you're welcome to subscribe. Come back again and see some unique products and some unique ways that I deal with products that I find could use some improvement.